This is a poem by Phil the Poet called Snoring Under Hill. There is an old English village called Snoring Under Hill, which for most of the year is quite tranquil and still. But during the winter months you can hear snoring from deep below, sometimes a nasal high-pitched squeal or grunting flow. Badger snores with his mouth wide open, catching flies, dreaming of freshly baked dandelion and burdock pies, while neighbour Mole prepares for a midnight feast, comprising of his favourite dainties and delicious treats. In the village hall about a month back there was a debate. Badger and Mole convinced some of the animals to hibernate. Many grumbled, thinking it was a stupid idea. Rabbit and Fox thought that Badger was a wild wise old seer, and so started to prepare for a good few months' rest. Squirrels told them to hoard nuts would be for the best. Soon they fell asleep in their own holes and began to snore. A few hours later, Fox woke up with a cramped paw. Howling like a wolf in pain, Fox tried to get some relief. Unfortunately, she hit her head, which added to her grief. She cursed the day she ever listened to Badger and Mole, as she shivered, nursing her foreleg in the frigid cold. Meanwhile, Rabbit's nose twitched so much she began to sneeze. It startled him out of his sleep when he felt an icy breeze, seeing that someone had broken in and stolen all his nuts. He shook his head and through his teeth gave a few angry tuts. Spring arrived at Snoring on the Hill, and the animals danced about, except Badger, Mole and Squirrel, who were terrified and began to shout. They were being chased by Rabbit and Rabbit and frustrated Fox, down the dales and beyond to the misty Scottish locks. End poem.